As we join together to acknowledge Dorothy Scott's journey, we celebrate an extraordinary tale that involves great triumph, great heart, and a fear of mice. Born in Wales in 1952, Dorothy came to Australia with her family when she was four years old. Growing up in suburban Melbourne, she became aware of the world of child welfare at quite an early age, as one of her school friends lived in a nearby residential children's home, Arana. Dorothy, a self-described latchkey kid, would sometimes go there with her friends after school, where the cottage mother gave her Vegemite sandwiches and milk in a plastic jug. In 1966, when Dorothy was at high school, there was a call for student volunteers to help children at a Lambie reception centre with their reading. A Lambie was the place to which all children brought into state care in Victoria initially came, and where they stayed for many months until their care and protection cases were heard in the children's court. Dorothy volunteered and was offered a job when she finished school. She was deeply affected by her experiences at a Lambie, and it was in this period that she committed herself to doing all she could in her lifetime to prevent children from coming into state care. In the 1970s, Dorothy excelled at university. Inspired by lecturers such as Dr. Len Tierney and the Reverend Graham Gregory, who were leading reforms then underway to deinstitutionalize child welfare in Victoria. Her first job out of university was as a social worker for the Victorian government, where she worked in foster care and adoption. She went on to work in medical health at the Queen Victoria Medical Centre, later Modash Medical Centre, in the late 1970s. In an era when single mothers were still being pressured into giving up their babies for adoption, and sexual abuse was being swept under the carpet, Dorothy helped pioneer a more compassionate approach. She established the first professional counselling and support service in Victoria for women and children who had been sexually assaulted. While at the Queen Vic, she also helped establish a support group for mothers who had been admitted into the psychiatric service. Dorothy moved into academia in the mid-80s at the University of Melbourne School of Social Work. In her work as senior lecturer and associate professor and later head of school, she conducted a swathe of influential research and guided a new generation of social workers. She also became known as a high-level policy advisor to the government. In 1995, Dorothy was awarded a PhD for her thesis in child protection assessment. A few years later, in 1999, she was awarded a Medal of the Order of Australia for the development of specialised services in the field of child abuse and maternal mental health. From 2000 to 2003, she was Executive Director of the Ian Potter Foundation, where she managed the distribution of over $10 million in philanthropic grants each year. In 2005, Dorothy was appointed Foundation Chair of Child Protection and Director of the Australian Centre for Child Protection at the University of South Australia. Her colleagues say that for Dorothy, this may well have been the highest moment of her career. In the five years that she has been at the helm, Dorothy has built a high-caliber, award-winning team which successfully undertakes research into practice and builds workforce capacity in child protection across a broad range of professional and service sectors. She has had a major impact upon the national research and policy agenda, pioneering an evidence-based public health approach to child protection. Marie Walk the Benevolent Society. Back in 1997, Dorothy loaned her voice to some audio tapes that we distributed along with the interagency guidelines to the sector. I remember how incredibly warm and empathic her voice was and how her voice really inspired us towards working better together. Thousands of people were driving around New South Wales listening and learning with Dorothy. Elizabeth Ho, University of South Australia. Dorothy Scott is able to deal with one of the hardest of life matters child protection, with a combination of sincerity, knowledge, precision, toughness, and sheer humanity rolled into one. Professor Maria Harias, University of Western Australia. Dorothy is a rare spirit who has held fast to her principles in the face of significant opposition. Paul Del Fabro, University of Adelaide. Dorothy is one of the finest communicators in child welfare that I am ever likely to meet. Anne Graham, Southern Cross University. 
She brings to every discussion, task, and activity an immense integrity, warmth, compassion, and patience, as well as a very sharp intellect, wisdom, and level of experience. One senses that Dorothy is quite adept at avoiding the public recognition she deserves, but there is so much to celebrate and acknowledge as she moves into the next phase of her activities.